Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be working with this Denon ABR1912 that it has been given to me as a gift, but I really don't know if it is working. As you can see, it looks perfectly fine, but you never know. It is an equipment that has 12 years old. You can see that it's a pretty interesting amplifier. It has several analog inputs, several HDMI inputs, and seven channels. Each of those can provide 125 watts. So it is a pretty interesting amplifier. So how are we going to test it? The whole idea is going to be to use a cell phone with a frequency generator. This frequency, we are going to input it into the amplifier with this analog cable. And using the multimeter, we are going to see if the channels are outputting voltage and if we can read also the frequency. To begin with, let's see if this amplifier is going to turn on. So let's plug it to mains. Here we put the mains cable. Let's plug it in. And let's turn it on. The screen is turning on. Let's see if the relay clicks. And there we can hear the main relay. So first positive signal. Next thing to do is I'm going to use this cable to make it go to the front. Negative. Now it's tightened. Let's go with the positive side. There we go. Let's tighten this knob. So the connection has been done. Let's be careful not to cross these cables. So we can bring them to the front. So before doing anything, let's try this frequency generator. Let's put one thousand. Can we hear it? Yeah, here we can hear the frequency. So let's see if these cables are working. Let's connect that in here. Let's start generating the frequency. Let's stop it. Now let's choose one of the channels and let's connect our multimeter groups. There it goes. So now we can turn on the multimeter. We go to millivolts. Let's go to AC voltage, alternative current. And let's go to Hertz. So we can see that it's in zero, but as soon as we start putting a frequency or generating a frequency, we can read it. We go up 14,650, 14,649 Hertz. So this frequency generator is working. The cables are also working. So let's go to 1000 again. There it goes. 1000, 1000. So now that this is working, let's plug this cable to the back side of the amplifier. Let's try to see everything. There we go. Let's plug it in the back part. We have several analog inputs. I'm going to choose the lowest down, but what does it say? CD. Yeah. Let's go to CD. There we go. Let's choose inputs. CD. Let's put the volume to the minimal volume. So uh, here we have the cable that is connected to one of the front channels. Let's connect the tester. There we go. 
positive side. Let's put it in here, making sure that they don't touch each other. There it goes. So we have our frequency generator generating a signal. We have the tester. So initially, I would like to see if there is any voltage coming out of the channels. To do that, let's go to millivolts. Volume is completely off. You can see it in here in the screen. We have a super small voltage coming out. Let's see what happens if we crank up the volume. We can see that the millivolts are also going up. That is a good signal. We go on going up. More voltage is coming out. 173 millivolts. What happens if we go down? We can see that the voltage is also going down. If we stop it, the voltage remains steady. So we have some output voltage in this channel. So can we read the frequency? We are in there, we are reading nothing. Maybe we need to crank up the volume a little bit. Let's turn it up. Let's turn it up. Keep on going up, and there we have it. Let's put a little bit as in case. So we can see that we are inputting 1000 Hertz and we are reading from this cable that is coming from the amplified output 1000 Hertz. So let's see what happens if we change. If we go to, I don't know, 15, 15,001 Hertz, we can see that we are reading 15,000 Hertz. What happens if we go to the maximum frequency that the generation can provide, 22,000 Hertz, we can see in here that the meter is sensing almost 22 kilohertz. So, I think that this test is pretty useful. It has proven that at least one of the channels is providing voltage in coordinance with the volume, and also that the channel is outputting or amplifying the generated signal. Should we try another channel? Okay, we can, we can do that. Let's put the volume completely down. Everything is down to zero. Let's change the cables. Let's go to the next channel. There it goes. Negative side. Let's tidy these cables a little bit. Let's do the same. So, negative channel. As far as I know, these equipments, when you connect them with the monitor into a TV, you have to use the remote control to set up which type of configuration you have. If you have it in 4.1, 7.1, in my case, I don't have the remote control. I will buy it. Now that I know that it's working, I can buy it and set it up. And as soon as you turn it on in the first configuration that they have, I think that is only stereo, so only the main front channels are going to be working. So we have the other channel. Let's do the same. Let's check voltage if we turn up the volume. Voltage is going up. Voltage is going up. And here we can see that voltage is going up. If we stop moving the volume, the voltage remains steady. If we turn it down, we can see that it's going down. And now let's check the frequency. Here we can have it. We can see it, 22 kilohertz, 22 kilohertz. Let's go to 2000, two kilohertz. So this channel is also working perfectly fine. So this video has proven us that using a cell phone with a frequency generator and using 
a multimeter. We can test if the amplifier is working fine. Be careful, not all the multimeters have the frequency function. Yeah? So if you don't have this frequency function, at least you can try if the millivolts are changing. That is going to be a pretty good indication if the equipment is working or not. Yeah, we go up, we go down, and we can see how the voltage is also changing. So I hope this video was helpful for you, and I hope you to see you next time in the future. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing so that you stay updated with my future projects. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Your support means a lot to me. Until next time, and be happy.